All right, ladies and gentlemen, today we are doing the hilliest half marathon on earth. Also known as hell on the hill. I've done a lot of endurance events before, but I've never done it wearing big red boots. So we're about to find out. Sounds like a terrible idea. Hey, you know what I know about these races? It's one in the first hundred meters. <laughs> I'm all in. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. The course is 60 laps up and down this hill. Overall, it's more than a 4,000 foot elevation gain. Oh, my shoes are already ruined. Let's catch it up. He's catching up. How long can I hold the lead? He picked the road too. Get out of here. He picked the road too. Damn it. These big red boots dropped earlier this year and instantly went viral, and I knew I had to get a pair. Stop to the miss. I had to lead a lot. <laughs> When the boots serendipitously showed up one week ago, I discovered that each one weighed about 3.5 pounds. <laughs> that made me wonder, could I possibly finish the world's hilliest half marathon wearing the big red boots? One down! I gotta take my like... Yeah, we got one lap in. Yeah. He's, He's already, already limping. It's one lap in, I've already oh got like... Oh my god. I'm gonna do another lap. I'll catch you on the backside. One lap in, the boy's bleeding <laughs> from the chins. You gotta keep the sock up, right? Oh, That's two! Oh, Let's go! The brain power behind this event are two of my favorite people, Devin Levake and Jesse Itzler. You guys are the content kings, man. Both of them are wildly successful entrepreneurs, which I'll let them explain later, phenomenal public speakers, and generally just awesome dudes. Now what you're willing to do, Dictates what will happen in your life. Yeah. But the main reason we wanted to connect with them and introduce what they do to you guys is because we all like to do wild and crazy fitness challenges to push ourselves to new levels of feeling, achievement, and accomplishment. Devin went viral in 2020 for bear crawling a marathon and is currently on a mission to summit the highest mountain on every continent. This is a first ever live stream from the top of Antarctica. Jesse has completed multiple 100 mile races, ultra Ironmans, and he lived with David Goggins for a month. So when they invited us to their all day running event, we had to show up in style. We're seven years, people. All Day Running Company is the world's funnest running community, but it's more than that. We want people to meet someone new, try something new, experience something new. All right, all right. Guys, guys, guys. Smile, so this started out as a backyard race that my wife and I put on in Connecticut for 20 people for charity. Sarah and I, my wife and I would donate money to every the charity choice of everyone that participated. And it just grew. There was just no fun running brands out there. You know, you go to a race, a normal marathon, ultra, whatever it is, and you kind of just go compete and leave. Like, you just did something so amazing. You just push your body to the full and then you just dip out. Yeah, yeah. Let's get it. There's no like festival. There's no fun. There's no buttery bros. There's no, you know, excitement. There's no community really. So we wanted to build that community. My friends used to say, if you run faster than you can fall, you're not going to fall. We made up 20 seconds on that lap. Walk. All right. One sixth of the way. I'm trying to catch up to a pace that I have to maintain. So I'm hoping to keep just about three minutes a lap. Everyone here is from a completely different industry. The difference is everyone here has the same values. Everyone wants community. Everyone wants to get gritty. Everyone wants to give back. Everyone wants to help others. Roman has trained me to do this. Oh, yeah. It's his work. This is what I do. Maybe four, maybe five laps. It's for you, Roman. Uh oh KK! When you do things with humans in a gritty way, you develop much closer bonds than you would ever dream of. Everybody wants to feel accomplished. When you do something physical or anything that makes you feel accomplished, there's no better feeling. Walk up, run deck, run deck. Run deck. After that, walk up, tell them, run deck. Okay? The last about 15 seconds, screw it out with Jesse, but worth it. Good dude, right? Run down, walk up. Yeah, that keeps you out of two, two, two minutes, 50 second lap. That's good. All right, guys, we got time to spare. Woo. 15. If you don't know, I don't know. Now you know. This 20 right here. 
One third the way. So before I'll discard that, I'm gonna go up and say what the reasoning was, what they're doing this for. I'll be thinking about my dad today and uh, the people that have Alzheimer's and uh, that will carry th me through my 13.1 miles. All right, I'm doing this for uh, my family, my father-in-law, one of my DJs all passed away from cancer. I'm doing this for myself. I'm a drug addict recovering. It's extremely inspiring to have all the support of people like you and the camaraderie in this group. Today I'm running for the Travis Mannion Foundation. They empower veterans and families of the fallen to develop character in future generations. I'm here today running for my daughter. Um, she has Perthes disease. I'm running for my brother Adam who had muscular dystrophy and was confined to a wheelchair so he can never do things like this. We deserve to be happy. We're alive, we're here. So I'm doing it for you guys today. Let's dominate this race. Let's go. Yeah. What's your reason? What you doing it for? Just doing it to do, do hardship for my friends, really. Yeah. One of the reasons I do this, and why I love the crossfit community so much, is I like people that do hard things. Oh yeah. Absolutely. They tend to be more hard. They tend to be more fun. Up the hill, down the hill. Oh, don't mind if I do. Mm. So good. She's back. I'm back, dude. I may have sprained my ankle. Yeah, but oh, you <coughs> bitch. Yeah. I'm not running on it, I'm just walking, so. We love that. My pace has gone down a little bit, but you know, I'm just happy to be moving. Ain't no quitting you. Ain't no quitter. Mama didn't raise no, no bitch. <laughs> 30 laps. Halfway, people. Oh, what's up, pickle lady? Good job. You read my mind. Just Training in general, the way that you find is fun. It, it's a meditation for some people. It's an escape for some people. It's a way that you can express yourself. We are finishing halfway. He's at 30. And I've heard a change of socks. Oh, he's a boy scout. He was prepared. Hey man, but I wouldn't be where I am without your bandage. Hey! He's becoming a better human. You know, you're, you're, you're giving yourself a little structure to your life. Boot click. Yeah! Halfway. Totally on pace. Way ahead of pace, son. Way ahead. How you feeling? Oh, I feel good. I mean, it's starting to add up, bro. Where you at? 35. My knees are starting to creep. Pit crew, pit crew. Let's go. Holy <laughs> Okay, so we get to the halfway mark, 30 in. Yeah. And I reward myself with a new pair of socks. And at that point, uh, this, this is the big question mark, right? Yeah. Like, everything is exponentially worse as you build upon the pain. Just got word that the first two guys finished one hour and 45 minutes. 142. 142. Yeah, I don't want to say it in front of the boys. I'm in a lot of pain right here in the bottom of my feet. That hurts, especially on my, I like that's tender to the touch. All right, everybody, we just got to Rome, Georgia. They've got saunas and cold plunges. They're speaking my language. This is like a welcome festivity. So we kind of get acclimated, we should hit the sauna. Let's Ma get it. Maybe put Jules in a cold plunge. Oh, come on, boys. <laughs> cold climate people. Yeah, that's what we are. <laughs> I'm acclimated. Get a shot of the, of the toes, though. Homie, hop in. Come on. This is Devin. He's, he's been on our show before. Oh, yeah, follow that. Oh, yeah. Woo! Look at the difference Woo! here! Look at the difference here! Woo! <laughs> Julie, get nipple deep! Woo! Get nipple deep! Yeah, it's in a plane. Oh! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. All right. That's all I got. That's all I got. Now I'm good. Four, Four in. in. Four Four in. Four in. What's your cycle here? Four in. Six out. There's a great video of Devin under the ice, breathing through a straw, and I try to swell. <laughs> oh, epic fail. <laughs> Didn't go as well. Didn't go very well. <laughs> We're about to get a little nutty. Cocoa nutty. Cocoa nutty. <laughs> Man, so we picked these uh, coconuts in Florida for you guys on Monday, and I uh, drove them right up here, so. Oh, wow. What's your name? Alex. Alex. Alex the coconut guy. I've never had anything like this before. Mamma mia, you know? Uh, That's fresh. Dude, thank you so yeah. much. Bro, that slaps. That's different, right? Is that what the kids are saying? <laughs> oh, that's fresh. Who would know we're in Georgia? My secret concoction for the hydro and salt for recommendation from my god, Mount Fraser. We got Beta Alan. Here to save the day. Cheers. All right, going back to work. This episode is presented by Blender's Eyewear.
you want to see more stupid stuff like this on the internet, you just got Bartery Bros. Save yourself 20% off some dope shades. Honestly, get ready for summer. Look good, feel good, play okay. Your future is bright. Future's so bright, bro. Future's so bright. Future's so bright. Woo! Let go. Woo! Let go. Woo! Where you at? About to hit 39. 39. Damn. New socks aren't the business. Gotta go back to the original. I threw on my new socks. I did one lap and I was like, these socks are thinner. They're more painful. <laughs> We're on a bad spot, boys. Yeah. So then I pulled over. Whee! I doubled up my socks. I'm just taking the top of my shoe. The okay. top of my socks. My, my socks don't go down. And that gives the extra padding against this ridge right here, which is very oh. stiff. Oh. I wouldn't say it's a design flaw because I think the whole thing's a design flaw. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is hard, bro. That's what she said. Yeah. <laughs> I rolled my ankles. You know my ankles. Yeah, he's got rubber ankles, dude. Got rubber ankles. Made for dancing up for heels. Oh, yeah. We got ourselves a support crew. You yeah, know, it's our, it's our guy Hugh over here. Come back. All right, for sure. Oh, we a new man right now, oh, yeah. boys. We oh, back at shit. it. We back at it. I got my swagger back. <laughs> oh, yeah, my ankle's a whole new man. Thank you, Hugh. <laughs> How are you feeling? Feels great. Feeling good? Spirits are high, dude. There you go. Hey, yeah. I where you got that from? Off the top of my head. Katie. I get it. Olympic champion. Oh, you're Olympic swimming. Swimming what? What? Three medals. Three medals. Swimming. Savage. Oh, shit. What Olympic? Oh, I'm going Oh, wow. World's hilliest half marathon. You know, you have your sprinters sprinting, the whole thing. Then you have your people that are just having fun and conversating. Here you we go. Your, you have your people that are wearing big red boots. You have your people that are, you know, struggling a little bit. But every way, you know, people are doing it in their own fun. Overall, I think it was fun. There's three types of fun. Type one fun is like, ha ha, let's have a drink. This is all fun, fun and games. Type two is like, shit man this isn't really that fun but let's talk about it afterwards type three is holy f i almost just died let's not talk about this for a little bit six months it's funny and today was like a 2.4 what's going on your bike uh <laughs> like a 2.9 <laughs> yeah yeah uh, that was a three, actually. Yeah. That was definitely a three. Jesse's a, one of my best friends, and he's like, Dev, do you want to bike across America? I'm like, yeah, man, like 100%. And so it was actually between climbing Everest or, or yeah, bike riding. Everest is always going to be there, and the stories we're going to have in 14 days, seeing all these states is going to be nuts. I bought a bike. I've never ridden a road, road bike in my life, and a lot of learning curves. There's like 10 moments throughout each day that you're just like riding, you're like, whoa. You're like, holy shit, man, that was close. Whether it's, you know, trucks driving by you, they're about to hit your elbow, or, you know, you're about to hit a pothole. You almost die, you know? Like if some, you were one foot to the left or one foot to the right or going a little bit faster, like you would have died. And, you know, that's what happened on my bike crash. You know, we were in El Paso, by the way, El Paso, Texas. We're going down, we're going down this hill. And all of a sudden, like 50 mile per hour winds punched my front wheel into a curb and I just front flipped onto gravel. What's crazy is there's no traffic in my lane going one direction. There's a lot of traffic coming with this way. If wind would have pushed me the other direction, I'm dead. I wouldn't be having this interview right now, you know? And it's like, you get to appreciate it, but also at the same time, this is an amazing story. It was so cool. You get to, you get to see America. If you want to hate America, watch the news. If you want to love America, bike, you know, bike across it. You know, and, and that's kind of a saying we had the whole bike ride. It's like, man, this country is dope. Doing great. Doing good? Yeah. Get it. Get it. That's it. We got 12 left. Let's you know go. Look at this guy. You finished? Inspiration from the buttery. Uh, you know, that's if anything, he owes it all to us. You know, we pumped him up. Uh, I'm out here for the vibes. I don't even know what number I'm on, to be honest. This is called Hell on the Hill. Yeah. Well, let's enjoy the last 90 minutes. Woo! Let's go, Jolie. Let's go, Jolene! So what made you want to come do this? Well, Devin invited us to a wellness retreat. Oh, this, is this the wellness yeah. retreat? This is the wellness <laughs> retreat. Smoke I haven't bomb. run a mile in four years! <laughs> <laughs> a good challenge I honestly didn't even think I'd be able to do. Water, water, water. Yeah. But oh, yeah. regarding timing, I feel like we're making good timing. Yeah, pressure. Close, guys. Close. Let's go! 
40, dog. Yeah, hit your age, huh? Disregard your comment. <laughs> Just very unconventional journey as an entrepreneur. You know, I was in the music business as an, both an artist and as a manager. I managed my, my idols, Run DMC and others. And then I had a private jet company, I had a coconut water company, an endurance company, a bunch of failures in between that. Just, you know, bounced around in and, and different things. And the, and the common denominator in all of that was I had no experience in any of it. Music, beverage, my dad owned the plumbing supply house. And it was just like, you know, put a flag in the ground and say, I'm gonna try to figure it out and uh, hire good people. And I've been lucky, man, really lucky. Coming up on my last five, they give you a uh, green wristband. So, I'm on my way. Here we go. 55. Let's go, baby, 55. Woo! 55. All right. Oh, you got that too, bro. Let's go! Oh, let's finish. So this right here, this is the hardest part. This turn, because the way the boots fold into my ankle, it's like someone's punching me in my ankle slowly every time. So with any hard goal, you can't think about, oh, I got 15 laps left. That seems like a lot. So I don't think about the five. I think about this hill. And I think about, oh, I got 20 fast steps. One, two, three, four, eight, so 19, 20. Watch one. You got 20 more feet. Oh, there we go. I gotta say, this part right here is the worst part. Yeah, it's yeah. the steepest. Steepest. My hip flexors feel like I've done about 200 GC sets. What do you think? Do I look like I still have fat depositories? <laughs> no, I think you burned them up. Oh. Who wants to see Julian do a full marathon? I think he goes sub three. Woo! I'll bring a cold hot dog. As long as I beat that old man Sawyer's. Oh, that don't take much. That don't take much. Don't take much. All right, here we go, people. Number 59 of 60. Oh, Last one, baby. Oh, there we go. One of the cool things about doing yeah. events like this mm -hmm. and doing different activities is meeting interesting people that also do something similar to what we do. I'm trying to train for uh, 15 marathons in 15 days in Korea. So I'm Korean. I want to go back to hometown and like there's this trail called the Three Rivers Trail. It's 374 miles long. It's a bike trail. Wow. And I want to be the first Korean American to run it on foot. It's nice to see a lot of different people from different backgrounds within this space itself. You know, the process, I haven't, but I, I'm willing to. Yes, I'm willing to. Last lap. Marston finishing strong. Two hours, 49 minutes. Yeah, baby. My dude. Nice job. Oh. Oh. Yes. Wow. We done. I got us a little treat. I got us a little treat. Ah, oh, it's just a victory. Oh, no, yeah. Remember. Love you, boys. Oh, I love you, too. Love you, boys. Honestly, color me impressed. I knew he was gonna start with the boots. I had no idea he was gonna finish with the boots. My man could finish. That's what she said. That's 10 seconds of her life, you know what I'm saying? That's what I got, last longer. <laughs> we are dead. Yeah, let's go! go. No 55, give me that green band. Once you get the 55 laps out of 60, you left five to put on the green band and let the people know. We got it. Let the people know. We got it. That's a fresh new jewelry, ladies and gentlemen. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. That's it. That's it. Last set, best set. Woo! Woo! Hardest thing I've ever done was bear crawling a marathon. Easiest thing I've ever done is, you know, making a glass of water with ice, right? I would say this falls at like a five or six. Hard. You know, like you're at some points I'm like, huh. Like today I got a cramp. Like pretty hardcore. Like you don't you don't know what you're gonna get. That's what adventure is. And, and expedition. Like you go out with an unknown ending, and that's the beauty of it. Like you, you just throw yourself into the wolves here, and you kind of just see what happens. But that's where the stories come from. Oh, all right. While the boys finish up, ah, a little hydro and salt. A little bizarre. It's like an oompa loompa. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost done. Yeah, we have two. Let's go. This is our last lap. 59, final lap. Let's final go. Final lap. Let's go. Who's going to carry the boat? Last lap. No pain, no sword. Last lap. Step away. Oh, 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 oh. oh look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh, this. Come with us for the last lap. Oh, come with us. How are you feeling now? Yeah, I'm really stupid. Really? Yeah, I've been just chilling. Hey boys, 
I think I got some cold plates in me after this, well, you know? Doing the lineman, man. Sorry, coach, I got chop blocked. <laughs> yes, man, let's go! Let's go! Podium, protein what? shake. Ah. People live in life, wild boy. Fast, ah. ah. boy. We did it. They didn't say we could do it. I got these shades on to block out the haters. Oh, yeah. yeah. Future's so bright. Oh, yeah. yeah. 60. Might as well go on 69. Uh, I would say that's a world record for anybody running anything in the red boots. In the boots. Yeah, yeah. I went full regalia. There we go. <laughs> ah, let's go. What's cool about this community is like everyone's here to do the same thing and they encourage you, like, hey, if you finish, don't leave. Like when yeah. you go to a marathon and you finish, you just kind of like you deuce you out. Yeah, they take that foil blanket and then they just take off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> limp out of there. Yeah, Here, everyone out. waited around and cheered on you. That so, was really cool. This is why I love these kind of communities right here at this moment. Last person out here, and everybody's doing the whole lap with her. It was so cool. It was like the camaraderie that we all completed this thing together and. You know, I got chills. I did too. Yeah, that was a good moment. Yeah. That was a good moment. I love me. those moments. Yeah, for all of us. end of it all i just gotta say thanks to all day running co for letting us be a part of this yeah, yeah so shout out to jesse and devin i mean great and great people and in, in, in the whole community obviously but you know all day running co shout out to the whoops we're gonna go over our strain slash recovery for the hilliest half marathon i was a 19.3 strain i was mostly in zone four okay wait a minute you're 19.3 I mean, on the workout, but overall. Yeah, I'm 19.7 overall. Overall, what were you? A 20.2 for the day. I'm a 20.0. Oh, I got gotcha, you, bitch. <laughs> Suck it. Yeah, well, I'll, Woo! I'll, 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 Woo! it was all the boots. You know, you overstrained <laughs> on the boots. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a hard time lifting my leg right now, ladies and gentlemen. That was a doozy of a day. Shout out to the Butter Gang. We're going to go to the most recovered. Who is it? His name is Matthew no. Hard. Hardage. Hard, Harding. Harding. G e. Level 21, 175 days that he's had a data streak. Weightlifting, martial artist, huh? Huh? Tell like, me about it. Like ninja, no, uh, karate chop. Uh, and, are you jujitsu? And cycling. What are we gonna send him? We're gonna send him a brand new whoop shot. Slide in my DMs, we'll hook you up. That concludes the whoop and the butter gang. We out. If you wanna join the butter gang, use code Pancakes. Oh. We don't do the discount anymore because whoop lowered the prices. So that explains that. That's the end of the show. That's the end of the show? Yeah, bye. Oh, hey, thanks for watching the show, everybody. Like yeah, like and subscribe. Two Jules. box, two Jules. 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 That's Jules. the end. Let them in here. Put them over. Yeah, yeah. 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 I wouldn't dance in the background, but there's not a lot of room. Here. And I rolled my ankle. Yeah. Yeah. What's next? Australia? No, this will be after Orlando. Australia. Oh, yeah. Is this after? Okay. Yeah. So chronologically, this is out of order. Sometimes, you know, it's the power of editing. We're well, that's why I didn't see Orlando, but I didn't know it was going to go after Australia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, what's after that one? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like, uh, next, 65 we'll, roses. Next, next episode will be in 65 Roses. It's only saying you Bye, honey. <laughs> if this event looks fun to you, which it should because it was awesome, come check out Running Man. It's an event put on by All Day Running Company this October, a ginormous festival of fitness and fun and saunas. It's just going to be like this, but way bigger. And we're going to be one of the co hosts of it, putting on some fun things there. Maybe a buttery slip and slide. I don't know. Come check it out. Link in the description. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. If you leave a comment down below, one random comment will be picked on next week's episode and they will win a brand new pair of Blender sunglasses.